return to wrestling. Red faces. Here we go at 125 pounds, Division I state finals. We have Gus Seiko of St. Edwards, defending or state champion two years ago, defeated in finals last year, wrestling Jake McCombs of Marysville. Zacco has dominated his way here so far. A 16 to 1 technical fall, a, nine, a minute, minute, minute 18, and a 9 3 win. McCombs, after a tech fall in the first, wins 3 2 in his second match and 7 4 in semis. McCombs, a very controlled wrestler, stays in good position, tough to score on. Sacco is a dynamite from. Dynamite from top. He's a top 10 wrestler in the country. Will be attending University of Virginia next season. Ed trails by one half of a point now after Dean Heil won a title at 103. Wadsworth was unable to win a title at 119. Every little point is going to count. I think Ed would like to see maybe bonus from Seiko here. They came very close to getting it from Heil in their first match. It got reversed late. That's why they trail by half a point. Every half is going to count. I think the closest, the closest match we, or closest team race we've ever had here in Ohio has been a point and a half. It is going to be about that here. Just announced Seiko's record at 34 and 3. McCombs is undefeated, 43 and 0. Not many, not many places in the country are going to have a 43 and 0 underdog in state finals, but that is McCombs right here. McCombs, black singlet, red headgear. Seiko there scores the takedown. He's in a black singlet, wearing black headgear with the St. Ed's E on it. Like I said, Seiko is brutal from top. Once again, just a loaded class statewide as we have the nation's top recruit, Logan Stieber, over on Matt Murray. Seiko's another one looking to have a big college career. Seiko trying to run a half. In their deep. Nothing yet, hasn't really generated a bunch of leverage. He tries to spread McCombs out. McCombs trying to work back to a base. Seiko has a nice cross body ride going. Just a leech on top here. Now he's got both boots trying to run that, work that power half again. He's pressing down on the head, trying to create some pressure. Will blow a dead for a stalemate. 47 seconds left in the first. Gus Seiko leads 2 0 over Jake McCombs. Edge needs a win here badly to try and make up ground. Certainly, the two head to head finals are going to go a long way to deciding the team title, but if Edge can make up points, maybe they can give themselves some breathing room in the other weight classes. Sego trying to tilt. Oh, now he's got that half deep. Nope, loses it. 20 seconds to go as he's reminded from his coaches in the corner. Just nowhere McCombs can go. Now Seiko trying to turk. He's only got seven seconds left. Can't really crack the hips. We'll get a stalemate. Five to go from McCombs. The crowd roars for Logan Stever winning his fourth title. He'll get a standing ovation. Seiko trying to win his second here on that one. McCombs gets to his feet, but can't get out as time expires in the first. We'll flip the disc. Gus Seiko has choice. He'll defer to the third. I've got to believe McCombs is not going to want to go under again. He'll go neutral. Normally I'm an advocate if you're going to win a title, you have to be able to get out from bottom. But I think Seiko has proved that, that is not going to happen. Right 
Holmes tries the inside trip. Nothing doing though, not a, not a real high percentage attempt, but not putting him at risk either as he's got underhooks. Seiko just trying to work free or get out of bounds and get a clean start. They'll circle out. Minute 36 to go. Still 2 0 Seiko. Gus Seiko now at the front headlock. Here you have a great shot of the referee. Seiko now still at the front. Head and arm. Trying to come around. McCombs is trying to block off. McCombs is tough from his feet. At least in terms of difficult to score on. Not super high octane offensively. Picks his spots. Obviously he's picked enough good ones so far as he comes in undefeated. One of the few unscathed wrestlers left here at, the, at Division One level. Now, 45 to go. Seiko still leads 2-0. It's a duck attempt there by McCombs. Doesn't really get him anywhere. They'll go out. Take us back to center. Holmes now, good control on the tie, takes a shot, Seiko stays squared up. Without an angle, McCombs isn't really going to have a good shot of getting on his legs. He's got to either break through that line of hand events. You got a stall warning on Seiko. He's doing more defending than wrestling right now. Now Seiko takes a shot, probably to appease the ref as much as anything. But, and we will end the second. Gus Seiko is going to go underneath to start the third. His coaches yell, no tilt, no tilt. McCombs tough on top. We're hoping he can score some back points and get right back into this match. Seiko. Much like Seiko, he's going cross body ride, trying to get wrist control. Now pressure on the head. He's got the wrist, trying to switch hands with it. Seiko said was defeated by Jerome Robinson last year in state finals after winning it at 103 as a sophomore. He's looking for some redemption here in Columbus. It's always tough to climb the mountain one year and then not be able to repeat the feat the next. And we'll get a stalemate. You've got to think that's been in his mind for the last 365 days. How to come back here and repeat. Seiko now up to his feet. Trying to get hand control. McCombs lifts and returns. Buck five to go. Seiko's out. Now leads three nothing. Now we've got a stall warning on McCombs for backing up. So both wrestlers have been warned now as we have 52 seconds to go here in the third period. A win here would put Eds ahead in the team title by three and a half points. We are two matches away from their first head-to-head. -head. Duck attempt there by McCombs. Seiko circles out of it. Now 20 seconds to go. We'll get a stall on Seiko to give McCombs his first point. A takedown now will send this to overtime. Ten seconds left. Seiko is in total control of this tie. We'll go out of bounds. Eight to go. McCombs is going to need to generate something off the whistle. See McCombs pressing forward hard. Seiko backs up, squares out, 2-1. McCombs is going to run out of time. Gus Seiko, after a runner-up last year, is your state champion. Let's out a huge scream. 
as he'll get his hands raised around. Holds his two fingers up, a fist pump to the crowd. That puts Eds up three and a half in the team score. As Sego to big pat from both of his coaches. And after such disappointment last year, it's got to feel great to be back to the top of the podium for Gus Seiko.